Hey, what's going on? So today I'm going to be getting into another comedy special. I really enjoyed doing the last one with uh, Tom Segura. Uh, you know, I love laughing. I love all kinds of different types of entertainment, so I'm going to be doing another stand-up. Stand-up is some of my favorite kind of entertainment. I can't wait till, you know, this whole COVID deal starts, like, falling apart so that I can start going to like comedy clubs and shit. I never really did that beforehand, but like over the course of COVID, I watched a lot of specials on Netflix and, um, you know, really got into comedy more. So I want to kind of do that here, but I want to be able to go do it in person too, because so from what I've told, there's nothing quite like going to the club and just being a, being around that environment, uh, to be really cool to try and check that out. But uh, as for this video, this is Burt Kreischer, the fighting a bear um, stand-up act, I guess. It's uh, from the This Is Not Happening Uncensored, so it's the same show, I guess, that was the uh, Tom, Se Tom Segura video. So I'm guessing it's the same kind of platform. Just check it out. Let's go. May contain nipples. <laughs> But no one can hear me because there's a nine foot grizzly bear going. <clears throat> What are we watching right now? <laughs> okay, it was an interesting intro. It's still going. Thank you, everybody. Uh, on this show, here's what happens. It's a bunch of comics telling true stories, and that's all it is. This next comic is a really, really good friend of mine. The Machine, Mr. Burt Kreischer, everybody. Let him in. I fought a bear one time. Ready to do it. <laughs> I, I know it sounds as ridiculous to me as it does to you, but I used to have a show uh, called Hurt Bert. It was on FX, and uh, I used to take new men's dangerous jobs. Every week it was a brand new guy, and I took his dangerous job. So you can imagine the excitement I got when I... So I'm guessing that was kind of like a play off of dirty jobs. So instead of them being just like dirty hard working jobs is really he was just going doing the most dangerous stuff I, I had when i got a call one morning and they said hey do you want to fight a bear i was like who do, who does that for a living and they're like you do on thursday <laughs> you do on thursday so i show up on set and it's a real grizzly bear it is a nine foot bear sitting on a park bench just <laughs> A vacant look, and it as dumb as you think a bear would look. Just... So I walk up, I'm 28 years old, I don't know any better. I stick my hand in front of his nose so he can get my scent. And the trainer loses his shit. He goes, What are you doing? I was like, I'm let... He's getting my scent. He goes, This is a grizzly bear, not a labradoodle. He goes, That's not how we, how we do it. We have protocol around here. I said, okay, what am I supposed to do? He goes, take these. And he hands me five marshmallows. He goes, when the bear's not looking, take a marshmallow, put it in your mouth. Then, discreetly, walk in front of the bear, just casually, show him the marshmallow, like, huh. <laughs> and allow the bear the opportunity to engage you. He needs to engage you and take the marshmallow out of your mouth with his mouth. This way, he'll learn to trust you. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Who thought of this, the bear? Is this the bear's idea? He's like, hey, buddy, this is how we do it. And my whole television crew's behind him like, this is how we do it. It's my second TV show ever. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm 28 and I want, I want, so I'm like, all right, I don't care, I'll do it. So I take five marshmallows, I hide behind the bear and like David Blaine, I whip one into my mouth. Then nonchalantly walk in front of the bear like a like a street hooker, like oh, 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 oh. 
and the bear goes from vacant to excited, just, and I'm going, <laughs> and he starts jumping, just, and I'm going, and he rushes me and tongues it out of my mouth. Tongues, it. bears never brush their teeth. Uh. I'm making out with a homeless person five times in a row. Just, and I'm like, Oh, God. We get done, and the trainer goes, fantastic, we're ready. I go, hold on, I haven't learned anything. He goes, are you kidding me? You learned the most important lesson of the day, and that is the bear likes marshmallows. I go, what's that mean for me? He goes, listen, if you get in trouble, just very confidently say, marshmallow. And what will happen is the bear will hear that, and he'll give you some space to do your marshmallow trick, but we'll hear it, we'll know you're in trouble, and we'll get you out of there. That's your safe word. And I was like, yeah, but he thinks they're inside me. <laughs> He's like, you'll be fine. Let's go. And the bear, I swear, and I know you're going to go bullshit. The bear was smiling. He was. He's got that look in his face, like, I know how to get marshmallows around here, bitch. And he runs up to me, and I, I can't express it perfectly. It's like being in a car crash. The most helpless I've ever felt, he grabs me by the ears, both paws, lifts me off the ground effortlessly and starts trying to shake marshmallows out of my <laughs> and I'm going marshmallow 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 but no one can hear me because there's a nine foot grizzly bear going <laughs> all of a sudden he drops me and that is at the moment that I thought I was going to die he lets go and I'm like thank god then his fingernail grabbed my belt loop just snagged it and he spun me doggy style <laughs> and locked on in a bear hug just <laughs> grinding gently on my ass just <laughs> now we're both facing the same direction I'm looking at the crew the trainer going marshmallow, marshmallow, marshmallow. <laughs> everyone's laughing except for the trainer who looks panicked <laughs> He waves and catches eyes with me and goes, go limp. I'm like, please be talking to me right now. <laughs> and not, Is there a bear cock climbing up my face? <laughs> About to split center scene, just whoosh, marshmallow. My God. More, so I go limp. I go limp. Now it looks like I'm getting date raped by a bear. <laughs> just. Uh, 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 uh. Yo. I slide out of his paws, land on my back. And that's the last thing I remember, because apparently his instincts took over and he sat on my face. <laughs> my wife, who I had been dating for three months at the time, I had invited her to the set so I could impress her. <laughs> my wife's not afraid of big yeah, animals at all. She goes over to the bag of marshmallows, grabs a marshmallow, puts it in her mouth, stands by my feet and goes, oh. the bear then takes his balls out of my mouth. <laughs> Walks over to her, they pull the bear to one side, her to the other, they drag me under a tree, and I wake up in the lap of my producer, Tim Scott. I open my eyes, I look at Tim, it's the first thing I see, and I was like, what happened? He's like, well, <clears throat> uh, you got raped and teabagged by a bear. <laughs> I don't want to get tested. Oh my God. And he's like, but that chick, that Leanne chick, I think she saved your life. And I look over and my wife at that moment is coming running over to me. And it's like, it's out of a movie. And I know you're gonna go, really? Is this how this fucking happened? Well, it's my narrative, okay? <laughs> she leans in, her head blocks the sun. There is a halo from the- Yeah, it's so uh, with comedians a lot of times still, even if it's a true story, they'll obviously stretch things to, to make it funnier. But, um, yeah, he's going. He's just leaning into the ridiculousness of this story. Lord for himself or herself, I don't care. And she is staring down at me and she says to me in her southern accent, Are you okay? And I look back at her with, with the sun caressing her face. And I knew without a doubt in that instant, at that very moment, you're like, Really? That's when you knew? Yeah, that's when I knew I would have never done that for her. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Nice. Love Bert Kreischer. He's always fun to listen to. Um, 
Yeah, most people listen to his machine story, but honestly, I've heard it way too many times to be able to do a first reaction. Um, I mean, I could always listen to it, you know, with you guys and still do it if you want to hear it here. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be up to you. I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to, you know, focus on some things I've never heard before. I think it's a little bit more fun. But, uh, yeah, it's Burt Kreischer, the fighting the bear story. Um, not a lot of fighting was going on. Um, uh, you know, after listening to it, sound a little more, um, yeah, not fighting. I wouldn't call that fighting. But, <laughs> uh, some really funny stuff nonetheless. Uh, comment down below if you like listening to the comedy. Let me know, you know, some other people you'd like to listen to um, or you think I should check out. Other than that, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you like the other content that I'm doing, I'm be trying to put out more comedy if that's really what you're into. Also do music. I'm going to try to get into other different types of uh, entertainment. So let me know if there's some other types of entertainment I should do, like TV shows or movies or whatever it may be. I don't care. Um, but, yeah, I just have fun doing this and uh, being able to react to these things. Um, so if you like my stuff, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.